Good morning, lovely people. Welcome back to the farm. And remember, farm name change coming. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you think it deserves it. It is the coldest day I think we're gonna have this year on the farm. February could bring some surprises, you never know, so don't count on it. But I do think this day could be the coldest day this year. Let me tell you about it. It's negative 20 degrees is about where we started out this morning. Now the temperature's climbing fast, so it's already uh, risen seven degrees. It's now negative 13 degrees. And uh, we are gonna see a crazy swing in the temperature. It's gonna go from what was negative 20, maybe negative 21 this morning, all the way up to about 25 degrees above zero. So in less than 24 hours, we are going to see negative 21 all the way up to about 25 degrees. That's more than a 40 degree swing. 46 degree swing in 24 hours here on the farm in winter, the middle of winter. We're not gonna get above freezing, but still that's a crazy weather, that's a crazy temperature swing. I'm not complaining though. I'm more than happy to get above zero again. Um, so it has been so cold. I think this is ultimately the problem because I've put, I've put diesel additive in the uh, Kubota here, but it's been so cold that we brought it into the garage where it stays always 40 degrees or, or above in here. And that's even without the furnace working fully. So we just have a couple heaters in here. I've got the milk house heater down here. That's just for keeping the, uh, the ferments going. And then we've got another oil filled space heater over by the quail. Uh, and that's just to keep the temperature 40 degrees or above in here so that our quail are okay. All right, so we've got to feed pigs today. We've got to water everybody today. So I'm gonna check on the quail real quick here. All right, the quail are actually doing really good on their water. So we don't need to water quail today but I'm gonna to need to get water for the meat ducks. I'm gonna to need to get water for our chickens, ducks, and geese in the other pen, in the other poultry yard. I need to get water for the sheep and get water for the pigs. Oh no, the pigs have water, that's right. So am I missing anybody? I don't think so, I think we got everybody. Maybe check on watering the dogs and the cats. We're gonna go ahead and open the garage door because as soon as, as, soon as we start this thing up, I'm gonna to wanna to get it out of here and get the garage closed back up so that cats don't get in here. And maybe even more importantly, so that the exhaust fumes don't kill our quail. Now I found yesterday that if I run this in high, it has problems. If I run it in low, we go a little slower but it doesn't end up dying on me. So I'm not really sure what the problem is, why it keeps dying, but it's gotta be due to the cold because it's only on the coldest days that it does that. And if we leave it in low, it'll work. When I run it in high, it doesn't want to work, so. No babies today are checked. You checked? Yeah. And what did you say? Um, I said, um, there's no babies today. No babies today, okay. Too bad. Well, what one is it? Do you want to Last night, Becky came out here and moved some sheep around. So they were all in one pen, but last night Becky moved them around a little bit. It looks like three of them stayed where they were supposed to. One of them got back into the pen where she isn't supposed to be. Still no lamb, folks, so maybe it was a false alarm. You know, from what I've read, there's really nothing more that I can do until she does something more. So it's kind of this waiting game and trying to figure out, or it's not trying to figure out anything, it's just waiting for her to do something. So maybe we're not having a lamb right now. Um, all the signs were there, and the rest of them are definitely getting close. I think all our other female sheep are getting really close to lambing, so 
We'll see, we should have some lambs soon, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't meant to be this time around. Hey, at least it gave us a good wake up call to get this barn cleaned out. I don't know, um, you know, it wasn't perfect timing, but it was better timing than others because I actually got some help doing it. So I'm pleased that we're, that they're where they need to be now. We might need to separate them even more. We might send the boys back outside so that they can, you know, but if we send them outside, they're probably gonna be confused why they're alone. And where's the rest of the flock? They may go searching for the flock, so I think it's just they're gonna be in here until spring now. All right, let's check on the chicken waterer. I think I see water in there. It looks like it's steaming. It's so cold out here. Cool water looks like putting out steam. Oh, remember that wind chill is negative 32 degrees. It's no joke. Fred, he's just a friendly old boy, aren't you, Fred? Aren't you? Yes. Hey, nope, 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 nope. On to the rest of the animals. sound asleep. I can drive up here and they don't even know it. Now they might, they might not quite know that uh, I'm here to feed them though. They're staying in their A-frame. That's smart. It's cold. The southerly wind is blowing right up through here. All right, they heard the door open and they're now out here to greet us. temperatures and this wind chill it can be extremely dangerous to have any sort of exposed skin out here water freezes instantly when it touches metal okay so the pigs are gonna get one more feeding today but that's it for now we got the main morning chores done we're just gonna pull the Kubota back into the garage here because it's so cold out here I'm afraid it's not gonna start again all right, so if I don't keep it in the garage here, it gets really cold and being out there is, this is the coldest day possibly of the year. Definitely the coldest day we've had so far. I'm bringing it in here because um, we're gonna wanna use it again tonight to move feet around and everything. So I just shut it off right away as soon as I pulled in. We don't want those exhaust fumes killing our quail or giving them any problems. But everybody's fed and watered. So we are gonna head in, eat breakfast, and then do a little uh, education with the children. 